on your nail. It's an important thing. It's almost midnight. Kabish. It's almost midnight. And this is what we're doing. Do you have some? I brought it with Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm covered with off. We got the ghost radar going. He seems to be bothered by the bugs. Cell sensor. What do you got, Chassie? I have a cell sensor. Um, has a little meter there. And uh, if anything's detected, this usually lights up and the meter yeah. goes up. Kevin's getting eaten alive by the bugs. I'm covered with the off. Whoa, what do we got? Kevin, it says someone. And we got to blip a little bit to the right over here. Did my phone fall or something? No, it said someone. That was the word it generated. James and Martha. If you're here with us, you can talk into that red light, or you can even go over by the green light over there and uh, chat with us. This is Tim Fasano. Wow. Man. <laughs> that is incredible. Car shows up in the back. Did an archaeological study. Made a national historical site. When the Civil War was over in 1865. Yes. Old man McNeil, Confederate soldier, who walked back home through these woods. Made it through the war alive. This uh, sandy road here. Uh, he's like right up in the camera. Telling his stories and stuff. And the sound will initially yeah. be Is garbled. The one that's kind of out on the water. Like? Um, no, no, not necessarily. Like, Sometimes it becomes like, like a exactly just there is a whisper. Yeah. A whisper, but it's clear. And, and, it, and it's clear enough. Um, sometimes they aren't clear. Um, so we have to put them through some audio software and clean oh, okay. them up and, and, you know, amplify them. All right. The farthest south you can get is way, way out of Tampa Bay. It's like the northern tip of Tampa Bay. What do they call it? Big Island. Well, we seem to be focusing more on the paranormal and ghost, which is not unusual because we have those people with us. But um, you never know when skunk ape. Oh, that was your backpack. I heard something move. <laughs> you never know when something's going to come running out of the bushes. So you try to keep tape rolling because you don't want to, when you have the sighting, you want to be fumbling for your equipment. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Like with that deer earlier. And then I, I did get a good deer. So, but anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to the, to the site. We think these woods are haunted. So what? We think these woods are haunted. I'm beginning to think they are. That's the remains of what? An automobile. Bonnie and Clyde era. I don't know how they got it back in here. Or early. Well, when you put it back in here, a lot of the plants that you see are quite really still. Always wanted to be on the corner of nowhere and nowhere.
So I definitely think we're going to uh, EVP. do an EVP session. But first, I want to get a readout here on my millimeter, which also has a temperature gauge. This is a grave site from a homestead area 150 oh, years ago. You're here with us, Martha. Can you uh, can you come over and walk to this device? It'll make the numbers jump to let us know that you're here. It'll just sense your energy. It won't hurt you. Sound like a hawk. Yeah. Uh, EVP session number. Can we do number ten? What you say to the temperature is, George? Really 82 degrees is that the one? 82, I got 71.7. Really? It's kind of interesting, 71.7. 72 degrees. 72.7. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. 72.4. Can you make the temperature go up, Martha? What about go down? 32.9. Come on, you almost got it. 72.7, 73 degrees. There you go. It went up. Can you make it go up again to 73? 72.6. There it goes. 72.9. Can you make it go back up to 73? Just to show us that you're here. Seventy two point three and it's holding steady. That's how you can tell that something paranormal must have been here. Hey James, are you out here watching over your family, your old homestead? James, my name is Kevin. I was born on October 4th, the same day that uh, that you were that you passed away. Not the same year, but we share the same date. Are you out here? Can you hear my voice? Oh shit! Me unzipping my backpack. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 